Uh, yeah, no, I don't want to hear that right now. But anyways, hello guys. Uh, welcome to WFSO uh, Comic Book Movies and TV News. Um, I meant to talk about this like late last night, but you know, I had like some things I had to do in the morning, which was today. And. <laughs> uh, the woman with the one-liner. But um, anyways, uh. Yes, I do. Um, as y'all see, um, Venom: The Last Dance is actually doing pretty good for like its third week. Is like right now is like on Friday's numbers. I think here in the states, or it could be worldwide, made fourteen million. So, as you know, my wife had mentioned like you know a weeks back that right now is not that much of a competition for. Um, Venom the last dance, so it's probably going to still, you know, keep pouring, you know, numbers. Um, I'm trying to look and see, like, more information on that, but I know they talk about, you know, everything else. Um, okay, here we go. The third frame of Sony Venom the last dance still leading with 14 million with two modest budget movies um directed with 10.5 and best christmas pageant ever 10 million okay so only thing i can think of while they talk about that that must be um going on um you know um i think that's over the u.s from what it seems like so it really didn't give it's really not you know giving that much no detail like how much you know it may overseas or anything like that so far so but yeah mainly is um three thousand oh wait a minute okay here's the uh, actual numbers um all the theaters in the new um, in the um, U.S. Uh, right now, you know, yesterday's numbers was 3.9 million, but they're expecting a three-day total of 14 million. So that's what they expected, and they didn't even add you know Saturdays or Sundays number. So you know that can change. So, okay, right here they got the total worldwide. That's probably going to be end up being um. 112.5 million and they already passed 300 so it seems like it's going to be like you know over 400 million it's going to make in three weeks so um depending on you know how much they pay for for like you know advertising and stuff like that this could be you know this party already you know making his money like we already know it passed the budget of 120 million for you know from the first week so I think they keep on going like this and like in their fourth week and they show it as well there's a big possibility that you know they can um you know make their money back so you know that's the big news so yeah and they yeah that's mainly what they're trying to say to um yeah, three point six million Friday. Friday. Um, this is the first time that a Venom movie has held the top spot in the in the box office for three weekends running. But yeah, they I hate to say it, but it's like close. It was like close Halloween when they released it, and it was a good thing that they you know released it on that spot because it seems like every time they release like a Venom movie in October, you know. Since they released the first one in 2015, I believe. Yeah, it's just been good, like, putting it on a Friday. So, yeah, can't complain about that. Um, but, yeah, maybe, you know, if they end up, like... Because <clears throat> I haven't seen any commercials, like, promoting it this um week. So, yeah, I'm kind of stunned on that one. Cause if it's still like the number one movie, like worldwide still, I know Sony should be dancing and like actually like promote it out there more. Cause you may want people like to see it again, but 
I don't know if that's just me. That's just an idea, though. Um, what y'all thoughts about this? Um, if you like more content like this and also talking about um, Milwaukee uh, development, um, wrestling, and also talk about he Milwaukee. Does. Yeah, only you would say that. And um, Milwaukee Buzz content, um, please like and subscribe to this channel. We got over. Need to subscribe to this channel now. Simple as that. It's the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Her words. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, we have over 2,100 videos. So, um, you know, check them out. There may be some videos that might catch your interest. Um, and you'll see us do stupid shit in those videos too. Oh, yeah, there has been some crazy stuff going on, but we'll talk about that another time. But um, it will be a program that we will talk about tomorrow on WFSO Aftermath. So, it, so you know, stay tuned for that. And, of course, that's live uh, 10 p.m. Central, 11 p.m. Eastern uh, right here on YouTube. Or you can see the videos and also more information about our sponsor, The Toy Dimension. And um, all other things that we do, like, you know, photos of, you know, wrestling shows, photos we took with Bucks players and... Um, wrestlers and all that good stuff so you get an opportunity um check out the website wrestlingfanspeakout.weebly.com and yeah we're like very close to 400 subscribers so hopefully by end of this year we'll get to 500 and you know it's our momentum to try to push to a thousand so um normally i don't talk about you know subscribers before but yeah at the time it is now is kind of important but um anyways uh thank you guys for watching until the next video you guys have a good one